Hi, you guys. Good morning. You guys, welcome to my Tuesday Live. I'm going to give you guys a second to tune in. And I want to let you guys know that today's video, today's live chat is going to be a little bit different because I need to get some fertilizing done. And if I don't do it now, it's not going to get done until the weekend and then something's going to happen and it's not going to get done. So my fertilizing routine this summer has been crazy. It's never been, it's never been so crazy like this. I usually, I usually, um, good morning. I usually am very strict with my fertilizing routine. Um, lately I've been kind of slacking. I've also been really busy. Uh, good morning. I I've also been very busy. I just came back from South Carolina, like I told you guys um, in yesterday's video. And good morning, Jody. Oh my God, everybody's turning in so fast. So um, anyway, my fertilizing has been, it's been crazy. I've been on a crazy schedule and I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna do it now while I have you guys on live because, um, good morning, Maggie. Good morning, everybody. So I'm gonna do it now while I have you guys here because if I don't get it done, like I said, um, it's never gonna get done. So I still have a jungle out here, which is why I wanted to get it done today. Let me turn this around. Oops. <laughs> why I wanna get it done today. Uh, I still have all of my orchids sitting under my terrace. Last night we had a big thunderstorm, so I'm happy I didn't get to put them out there last night. And I'm going to take advantage. And I can see your comments. Good morning, Charlotte. I can see your comments anyways, even though the camera's turned around. Um, last night, there was a huge thunderstorm. And I am, oh yes, let's do it together, absolutely. So uh, I'm happy I didn't put him back out because I did see Todd's video. And um, even though I didn't completely see it, I wasn't even able to comment on it. Um, but Todd, I saw your video and I saw that a lot of them ended up on the floor and I don't want that to happen. Um, I have many clay pots, as you can see, and I think that if the wind blows them, they're gonna break them. So I'm a little bit scared about that, even though um, I do have grass and it might not break. Uh, but anyway, I'm just happy I didn't put them out last night, so I'm gonna take advantage and I'm gonna fertilize. All right, so that's what's going on with that. I have such a mess out here. So before I start fertilizing, I do wanna show you guys my new blooms. I showed it yesterday, but this one right here is my new Vanda species bloom. Isn't that awesome? So what I'm gonna do, and you guys always get like the spoilers. Um, what I'm gonna do is that um, what Ben told me, let me turn this around again. What Ben told me about this species, and this was a gift from Ben, um, from Bang Jong. It was actually from his um, father's collection. Um, he told me that this tip, this, this orchid right here, it smells at nighttime, smells delicious. This is a Vanda Desioana, de Desion, hold on. It's the Vanda Desionona. There you go, that's her tag. So what he told me about this Vanda is that every seven days or so, the flowers change colors. I mean, they're not gonna turn pink or anything like that, but I think they'll turn, they'll turn like more orange or they'll turn more I don't know, they just changed color. So look, look at this new bloom. This new bloom is green. And then this one that's been in bloom for about two or three days, it's turning more yellow. So that's what he told me about this one. He was like, this one is really special. It smells at nighttime, unlike your other Vandas. And, and um, it smells like, um, it smells at nighttime, not like your other Vandas. And the colors will change as you go, like every seven days. So that's really exciting. Um, I'm excited to see that. And I actually uh, took video of it the first um, yesterday, which I'm sure was like the second or third day of the bloom. And then I'm gonna do it again um, in seven days. And again, in 14 days and in 21 days, as long as it has the blooms, I wanna do it. I just wanna see the difference in the blooms. So um, that's what's in bloom. Um, well, my other, let's see here. This catacetum, which I have probably three of them there you go. Um, so Maggie, you're asking if they're still online. Uh, I don't know. Um, call Bang Jong and, and ask Ben. I have no idea. I don't even know. I know they ship, but I don't think they ship outside of Florida. But um, ask him. Ask him. Give him a call. I'm for sure you can find his phone number online. So anyway, this Casetum is the, an, you know, it's like the, probably the third one that has bloomed for me. Actually, I have two of these. One of them threw out another spike, and then this is the latest bloom on this catacetum, which is, which is very pretty. 
And this is at Susan Fuchs. Let's see. Uh, this is this one, the, uh, the Susan Fuchs Lucadia with a Tigrinum. And I know you guys, I know that I promised you guys an unboxing. I have been calling Sheldon, emailing him. I am dying, dying, dying to get a box. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if he's too busy um, or he has, I'm gonna try to set this down, or he has, um, I don't know if he's too busy or what's going on, but I am trying to get um, a box from Sheldon so I can unbox it. I wanted to do it now in July. I guess it's gonna have to be August. So as soon as I get that box, I will unbox for you. All right, so I really need to get started with my fertilizing. All right, so let me show you what I'm gonna be using today. I haven't fertilized in a while, so definitely, definitely I'm gonna add my um, organic kelp to the mix. Uh, this is added every, every other week. I haven't fertilized, I think in about two weeks. So yeah, it's time for the, for the organic kelp. Um, I'm gonna be using 20, 20, 20. I just got this from, from Bang Jong about two weeks ago. And I am also gonna be adding some Epsom salt. All right, so my, fertilize, my fertilizing uh, measurements are different when I fertilize my Vandas because I add more, more to the mix. And I'm gonna do that, those first because it's just, um, they haven't done it in a while, so. Yes, I do like adding the Epsom salt. So I can see you guys' comments, it's just I can't really do this and hold the camera and do everything at the same time because, like I said, I need to get this done. All right, so this is brand new, I just got this. So this is a 20-20-20, um, I've used the Jacks and I like the Jacks and um, I'm actually gonna link them. I actually have a link like in my videos, you guys ever wanna get that from Amazon uh, because this one is from, this particular one is from Bang Jong. So um, I was out, I haven't ordered the Jack, so I just went, ran in there and got it. So I'm gonna mix inside my insecticide sprayer. So this I connect to the hose and I do get some questions. Um, some people don't understand how it works because I put all my mix, I'll fill it up to about the um the five line or a little bit over which is a six line and then once i connect that to the hose it just mixes everything and it'll I'll end up with um six gallons so it's a six gallon insecticide sprayer um so i'm going to show you how i do that because i know some of you guys had questions on how i did it and i would just want to make sure that you're not confused uh, so i'm going to do my vanda so i'm going to do one full tablespoon which i'm going to add two teaspoons All right. All right, so I'm gonna add two teaspoons of that. And this is gonna be challenging. All right, so I'm gonna set my camera down because I can't do this. Oh, hi, Jarrell, you just woke up. Hello, I haven't forgotten about you. I have not been to a Heavenly Garden, so. And I'm trying to fertilize in my life because I need to get it done. All right, so, all right, never mind. I can't set that down. So I'm just gonna do the kelp. All right, so this is going to be, all right, this is gonna be hard with one hand. There you go. I did it. All right, so we're gonna put one, one teaspoon of, of the kelp. All right, you guys, I'm making a mess. <laughs> All right, so this is harder than I thought. I really cannot do this with one hand. So I'm really gonna try to put this down and just um, kind of do it with you guys. I really wanna show you how I do it. And I actually really have to get it done. So let's see, let's see how I do this. All right. And you guys are all tuning in and I'm doing this crazy, crazy challenge of trying to fertilize with you guys live and I'm getting the kelp everywhere all right and let's do so then the the Epsom salt is whatever whatever you're mixing just half of it so we're gonna do a, a, a teaspoon of that and I hope I got the right measurements I don't know I'm gonna turn on the hose now all right so um so then how are you guys doing with your fertilizing this summer? Because to me, it's been like impossible. 
It's been so difficult to just get everything fertilized. I have so many things going on with my kids out of school. And my son, um, my son's a baseball player. Um, and he's been, um, he's already gonna be a senior in high school. And we've been looking around, universities wanna see him play and he's going to camps. So hopefully by this summer, we'll know where he's gonna go for, um, for college and play college ball, but college baseball. But we're still, we're still, um, Kind of looking looking around and just trying to figure out how that's going to happen and um and we'll see he's going to be the first one of my he's my second born my ah! <laughs> this is crazy he's my second born my first born lives at home goes to college and it's going to be it's going to be crazy so i guess my orchids are going to keep me busy uh while while he's away and my other two kids of course all right, you guys, I just realized that I, I mixed everything to just one gallon, so I have to add more of the mix. I'm telling you, this is crazy today. So that's exciting. That's what's been keeping me busy lately, and that's why I haven't um, been going on live and, and doing all the things that I normally do because it's been a crazy summer. So hopefully now in August, everything will go back to normal. So what I'm doing now is I'm just adding enough to make it to three. All right, so I've got three. Let me just turn this around. All right, you guys, so um, I filled it up to the three, kind of like almost three line, and then I'm gonna attach my hose to it. So let's see how I do it. And then I'll show you guys exactly how I do, and then I'll try to fertilize more stuff and then do everything else off camera. I don't wanna keep, I don't wanna just keep you here all the whole time. So, so that's what's been happening and that's been keeping me very busy. Now, um, I am going to tell you that I'm going to go to a uh, heavenly garden soon. It's probably going to be a shopping trip for those that, um, well, not you guys, but, um, but, um, I'm going to do go to heavenly garden soon. I have to go look for a special fowl for somebody. So I'm, I'll take you guys with me on that adventure. And um, not today. I have to probably do that um, either Thursday or over the weekend um, on my day off. So um, what I'm doing is that I'm trying to attach this to the hose. And um, so that's going to be um, happening very soon. And I'll take you guys with me. I'm going to actually probably document the whole time when I go, uh, what fowls I'll be choosing. And then uh, for the first time, I'm going to be shipping out a fowl. So that's gonna be interesting. Um, and I don't know, I wanna probably film it and show you guys. Uh, hopefully I'll learn how to pack everything up and get it to its destination without um, breaking a spike or ruining the plant. So that's, um, that's probably gonna happen this week. And, um, and that's it. All right, so this is already on here. And let's go. We're gonna go do the Vandas first. All right. All right. So yeah, my unboxing video hopefully will come soon in August. Um, Sheldon's probably busy. I've already sent him emails and I haven't heard from him. So hopefully um, I'll do that quick. All right. So let's turn on the hose right here. Can you guys see? That's my hose. And you guys, I am so, so, so proud of all of these roots. And yesterday's video, um, I did not show you that I have another spike growing all the way up there. I did not see that while I was doing my update. So I have a total of three spikes growing. And now, now this is connected and here we go. All right, so now I can talk to you guys because this is just a point and shoot type of thing. All right, so... Um, so yeah, yesterday I didn't I didn't um, show you guys that that spike up there, and that's new. So so this is what I do once a week to my vandas. I just soak them, soak them, soak them with this fertilizer, and this has three. Oop. It's got three gallons, and now it's down to two, and it'll just soak, give everything a nice soak. And one thing that, um, that Ben told me, and comment or let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree, 
is that he said that the best time to fertilize is any time between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. Um, the earlier the better. He says after that, the, uh, the plants won't soak the fertilizer as well. So that's probably why I've been also like hesitant because I don't want to spend, well today's a little bit after nine, but I don't want to, I don't want to um, just waste all this fertilizer and spend all my time fertilizing and then for the plants not to absorb it. So let me know in the comments. <laughs> let me know in the comments. You guys are having coffee. I'm so jealous. I couldn't even finish mine. Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about that. I just, you know, I just rather get it done and get it done early and have the plants absorb it then wait till later and um and then the, do it for nothing so so okay so like you guys saw i did a full teaspoon i mean I'm, I've, yeah i did a full teaspoon per gallon to my vandas um they are uh, getting a heavy feed i've been doing heavy feed for them ever since the summer started because i am watering them more often and i'm almost done so let me know what you guys think about that. Um, what else uh, did he tell me? So nothing. Um, they said that to to uh, to do the fungicide. I'm getting I'm getting a lot of people with fungicide for fungus issues, and I think it has to do, of course, with all this rain. And um, he said fungicides apply more towards the evening. That way, the plants have a chance to absorb that. So that's a good tip. If you didn't know, I didn't know. Um, fungicides more towards the evening so they don't get burned with the sun and fertilizers in the morning so the plant can absorb it so that is my tip of the day I know the heat's terrible so all right so I'm almost done okay I'm gonna turn this off you guys um I think that's enough and and then I will get to my my jungle under my terrace um once i once i tune off i do have to go to work in a little while and um see i have my coffee too hmm so this i got when i went to spain over the summer with my daughter i love this little cup <sighs> and that actually reminds me of something that i have this cup with all these um iguana looking things you guys i'm not a fan of iguanas and I've got a huge iguana living in my yard somewhere. Now in Florida, and I don't even know if I should be saying this because it's, I don't know. But in Florida, they've given Floridians permission to remove iguanas. Um, and uh, they've just, they just said that it's like just, bit, it's taken over. You know, the iguanas are everywhere. And if anyone sees an iguana, they can, um get rid of it so i have this huge iguana in my yard and uh i told my son that if he finds the iguana to try to get rid of it um just not to i guess um hurt it too bad uh but um they do eat orchids that's that's and you know in all the orchid lovers defense um and i know i'm not um uh, they do eat orchids. They like, I just heard um, yesterday on my Instagram, I got a DM from, from one of my subscribers that they love fragrant Cattleyas. Can you imagine if an iguana eats my fragrant Cattleya? Like, no. So um, I told my son, if you find an iguana, because I do see the iguana's um, wastes, <laughs> all over my pool and it's like a dog's poop it that's the size it's it's huge so i do see that i mean i have never had an issue with my orchids and the iguanas um i mean i do follow some people on instagram that love iguanas and i don't want to i don't even want to you know say anything bad because i don't want to in, insult anybody or i don't want anybody to to think i'm a, like an iguana killer um no i don't even get close to them but the minute that they mess with my fragrant Cattleya. That's when I tell my son, go get it. I mean, um, that's what's happening in Florida. The iguanas are taking over. And um, 
Oh, well, that must have been new. Okay, well, no. I mean, we, don't, we do not shoot iguanas. We will just, I will tell my son just to get rid of them. Um, but there was an article that said, you know, that, that, you know, Floridians, maybe they've already updated that it's just the iguana infestation has gotten crazy. So anyway, that was my iguana thing because I saw, I remembered that and I wanted to, um, I was actually thinking about that last night and then um, one of my, then I got a DM. So this reminded me of the iguana. I'm sorry if you guys are iguana lovers. Um, I just don't want them messing with my orchids. I just want my son to take it out of my yard. My, my husband will not go and get rid of an iguana. He's probably scared of it as much as I am, but I'm sure my son will. So anyway, that's the iguana topic. Um, frogs, toads, you know, I do get a lot of frogs. This summer has not been that bad. Um, we've discovered that turning off our lights at night in my yard, the frogs don't come because they come to get insects and obviously insects, the insects are attracted to the bugs that come with the light. So uh, turning off the lights, we don't get as many. So anyways, iguanas, toads, frogs, all those things are, are bad during the summer here in Florida. And that's it. And um, that's it, you guys. Um, the Tuesday, uh, not, the, not the Tuesday, but um, my July update was super long and I appreciate you guys, um, you guys watching it and commenting and liking it. Um, many things going on out here in the yard. Hopefully August, I will continue getting blooms and that will make me make more videos uh, to show you guys the newest blooms. And that's it, it's gonna be August. I can't believe it. Summer has flown. It's gonna be August in a few days. Kids will go be going back to school soon. We'll have more time for videos. We'll have more time for fertilizing and doing all that stuff. So that's it. So this was my my Tuesday live. Hopefully I will maybe next week I'll try to go on like around six. And just to make it um, you know, for those that don't tune in so earlier that are working and all that. And it's also easier for me because now I have to go get ready for work and finish fertilizing. So all right, you guys, it was nice chatting with you. I hadn't done it like in two weeks, so it feels nice to just um, have everybody um, on and you guys are talking amongst each other, so that's, so that's awesome. And let me get to my fertilizing. Leave me any comments below on what you think about fertilizing earlier versus later. Um, is it true that the plants won't absorb that fertilizer when you do it later in the day? Um, I mean, Ben from Bangjong, uh, which was the one that told me, obviously he knows he knows best, right? I mean, he grows these beautiful vandas um, all year round. So that's it, you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Um, I will catch you guys on my next. I will catch you guys on my next video. And um, that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.